Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. I would like to thank all of my Patreons for your outstanding support and encouragement. It really does help me make these videos possible. These will be the areas that we visit uh, with the drone today on a cold and very brisk Christmas Eve day. The weather was nice as far as visibility, a little bit cool, 35 degrees with wind chills down into the lower 20s, but otherwise a nice day to fly. Looking on the east side, we see there's a new contractor trailer and a little compound that they've set up. This is the Civil and Environmental Consulting uh, Incorporated uh, new contractor on site. They're nationwide based out of uh, Austin here, and you can see their website if you want some more information. We also see that they've moved more of the older trailers over to the east side as well, so now there's four of them. Looking at the uh, concrete structure, the big news is that they have made a adjustment to the column that we had discovered that was a little bit low. And as you can see here, the way they did it is they added a couple foot section on top of the column to address that uh, short uh, issue. Looking into the isolation pit, uh, more work on concrete and filling up the pit with the uh, dirt. Then we look in the GOP area in the southwest side, and it really does look like GOP, at least for now, is concluded. There's no gravel, and all the equipment is uh, marshaled together. Over where the zipper pit is and all the footings, uh, most of that's been filled back in, and it looks like preparing for some steel work at some point. Over on uh, with a small steel structure, it has grown about uh, twice as big. It looks like a lot more work is prepared with some of the steel material there. In the red area, we see that all the cranes now are installed and assembled. And we've also noticed uh, this uh, little place, our little thing called a straddle carrier or a straddle truck. And uh, as you can see, it just carries some loads underneath and it makes it uh, easier to move things without cranes or forklifts. The big steel structure itself is about uh, 1200 feet long and a lot of work has been done at the north and south sections in the area that we know are the casting machines there's now five columns put up with another one waiting to go so overall these are the areas that we'll be visiting on this christmas eve day and i hope that you found this overview useful merry christmas okay my drones are fully charged and they are ready Let's go flying over Giga, Texas. <laughs> 